Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining me again for a Wednesday meditation here at the Margate Community Church. Well, have you been watching the news lately? Uh, maybe you've stopped watching for a while yet again. The pandemic is still with us, big surprise. There's rioting, there's horrible fires out west with loss of lives. The elections are coming up with people heating up. And no one seems to be able to decide if schools and restaurants and churches and movie theaters and places of work should reopen. Joy seems to really be in short supply, doesn't it? It seems as though everybody looks for it, but so few seem to find it. According to one study that was done before the pandemic, only 33% of Americans said they felt happy. I cannot even imagine what that percentage would be today. With everything going on around us, doesn't it feel like we're living under some big dark cloud? Well, let's see what we can do about it. I believe happiness is available. Finding it may take a little work and some redirection of habits, but let's make happiness our quest. Well, according to the Bible, it all begins with the way you manage to see other people. If you remember, Jesus was asked one time to state the greatest commandment. If only he had done just that. If only he had stopped with one commandment. Seems like one would have been enough, doesn't it? No one would have complained or even asked for a second one. In fact, only one was requested. A religious leader asked Jesus one time, Lord, what is the most important commandment? Jesus' answer was, the most important one is this. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Well, excuse me, Jesus. How many commandments were asked for? Just one. How many did the man receive? Two. If only Jesus had stopped with one command, we could have been satisfied, but he didn't. He gave us a second, and it's a doozy. Love your neighbor as yourself. As it turns out, with that one sentence, Jesus actually gave us the pathway to genuine joy. He brought it right into the middle of our traffic jams, conference Zooms, greeting strangers and neighbors and loving kids. Get this, <laughs> loving people is good for us. Now, most people believe that people are the problem standing in the way of happiness. Try to find a parking space and can't. What's the problem? People. Try to get in to see the doctor and the next appointment is next year after last Monday. Why? People. All of life's ups and downs seem to be due to people. Car pile-ups, meltdowns, system foul-ups, emotional breakdowns, nasty words. Why? People. No wonder the Bible has said so much about finding joy in the act of sharing joy with people. Happiness happens when you give it away. God's solution for the ills of society and for what ails us is being unselfish, doing random acts of kindness and saying words that affirm and help. You see, as Christians, we're the people who add one more thing to every day's to-do list. Whom can I help today? Which person can I encourage? Who needs a little sunshine? 
It might just be the coworker that gets on our nerves or the neighbor who has allowed their dog into our yard yet again, or the checkout clerk that seems to have sucked on lemons for breakfast. Yes, them. God asks us to lift their spirits, brighten their days, compliment them, understand them, and thank them. By doing that, the world, our world, will be different because we tried. Love your neighbor as yourself. Let's put Jesus' command to the test. Let's make others happy and see if we aren't the ones who are the happiest. Will you pray with me? Oh Lord, we know that people are rough, even the ones we love. We hate that it's hard to live here and we hate the pain and suffering in our lives and in our world. Somehow, some way, O oh Lord, shed your light on our hearts. Renew in us a right spirit. We need you to light our way so that we can have the joy you promised as we follow your command to love others as we love ourselves. Amen. Thanks again for being with us today. I hope you'll have a wonderful week and that maybe I'll see you on Sunday at our outdoor service at 10 a.m.